What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy DSP's daily rap video after the full, well, my oh man, the nine hour Pro Jared Marathon where he went into extra extreme extreme details into the 90 minute Pro Jared documentary. I'm not sure why it took him nearly four hours to uh, look at the documentary and provide his insight that's something that should have taken maximum two hours but of course you know our boy phil likes to talk and overextend himself so let's see what he has to say in this video good evening everyone and welcome to the daily wrap for what was saturday the 25th of february 2023 what a day i am so exhausted what a long day of reacting we uh had my first ever long form react marathon event over on dsp reacts today it went really really well um but man it was exhausting so first of all we did a level one podcast right here on dsp gaming which i'm about to upload so if you're seeing this video first you're like where's the podcast it's coming notice how he didn't say uh, a great day a great support day you know he, he always prefaces that whenever he does these events and gets you know what three four hundred bucks he always makes sure to highlight that first and we know phil is a creature of habit and his ocd uh kind of compels him to do this thing and yet he didn't mention that and there's a reason for that our boy phil cracked at 150 nine hours of work and he made 150 dollars. now you know most people say hey that's not bad but of course for phil he mentioned several times throughout the day that he was only essentially doing one stream but technically you know he should be paid for two streams so he was looking for at least 300 dollars in tips and barely got, i mean he got half of that he got 150. and throughout most of the event i'd say for at least like the four the first four to five hours he was at 50 bucks that was it one minute fake one minute man came in dropped a 20 and he was at 50 bucks and that was it it was not until uh one of his dents came in and dropped a hundred dollar dono where he ended up getting at 150 bucks and that's where he stayed the rest of the night. And as you guys know, when he does these marathons and special events, which they're no longer special because he does them every other week, you know, he brings in a pretty good amount, at least 300 bucks minimum. And for him to not even crack, you know, for him to barely crack 150 and the only reason why he got that was because one whale came in and dropped 100. Man, that's pretty bad. So let's see what else he has to say. Just that I was reacting all day, so I didn't upload anything. All right. Over on DSP Reacts, it was the story of Pro Jared from June the King, a documentarian here on YouTube. And I reacted to it all day long, and it went really, really well. We had high attendance. We had high engagement. We had good levels of support. We got a bunch of new members. We hit a new members milestone over there. It was good, man. Like, I am very pleased with how it went. Um... People are really seeming to dig the fact that they have a place to go for my React content as opposed to it being just wedged in to all the other content here on DSP Gaming. And that's a good thing. Um, it took, get this, four and a half hours to react to the 90 minute video from June the King. That was that much that I had to add. There was, you know, me, my perspective as a YouTuber, my perspective as using, us, uh, use, used to know about ScrewAttack.com. It's the website where Project had come from originally before he became an independent YouTuber. Um, man, did I have a lot to say about that whole situation with, you know, his marriage being polyamorous. <laughs> and uh, also, you know, he, uh, you know. First of all, why did it take you four hours to do a review of a 90 minute video? It should have taken you a maximum two hours, 90 minutes for the actual video content itself and 30 minutes to provide your commentary. And the other thing, you of all people should not be talking about a uh, marriage relationship between two consenting adults, especially with your history and your marriage. Okay. And your uh, weird, weird brotherly sister relationship, you know, roommates essentially. Uh, between you and your horse i mean sorry cat so you of all people should not be commenting whatsoever on anyone else's marriage regardless of the situation allegedly soliciting people uh on the internet for nudes and other stuff uh, you know in his content or in, in, on his own tumblr and stuff like what the heck i was i didn't even know about most of that and i had a lot to say so it was a great event it was four four hour long parts and a 30 minute or so uh, part of which i'll be uploading slowly 
over the course of the month or the, the a week to that channel. I'm actually gonna do one part a day. Also, there was feasting with the king that happened. Me trying out Mediterranean food for the second time. Um, and a Q&A video that was kind of like a decompression. So there was a lot, okay? A lot that happened today over on DSP Reacts that will be slowly uploaded tonight. We'll get part one, which is an hour, and every day. So one part Saturday, one day, part Sunday, one part Monday, one part Tuesday, probably the conclusion on Wednesday. And then probably what I'll do is Thursday, Friday, I'll upload like the... Uh, Feasting with the King video, as well as that, you know, Q&A vlog. So that way there'll be good variety of content on the channel. Plus every day, once a day for the next four days, there's a new video from DSP versus the internet, my clips show, that'll be going live there. And I'm gonna be filming my review of The Last of Us, the television series episode seven, probably Monday night and uploading that. So that, that channel is gonna have a ton of content over the course of the next week. I hope people are pleased and we'll check it out now. The issue is, Phil, that the vast majority of people that want to see this content already saw it on your stream, right? So if they want to go back to review it, what's the point of you um, doing, you know, essentially doing breadcrumbs and just piecemealing it to these dents? Isn't the purpose of this channel to be driven not by ad revenue, but by memberships? So what does it matter if a person paid a membership, right? What does it matter whether you give them 10 pieces of content a day or one day, you know, where they can spread out and watch it versus giving them little bits and pieces every day to stretch it out for a week to make it seem like you give them content every day, What which, which you don't. You essentially do one event and then you piece it out, you know, for several days. And the problem is the people that want to watch it, you know, say they want to watch on the they don't want to wait, <coughs> excuse me, another day to watch the same event or the same piece of the event, the second part of it. It makes no sense, Phil. It, it, it doesn't. And to me, it just tells me that what you're trying to do is you're trying to double dip. You're trying to get the ad revenue and you're trying to get also the, the memberships. That's what you're trying to do. And you're trying to make it seem like, you know, you give content every day on this channel and you, you really don't fill. So it's very manipulative that you actually do that. And, uh, and it, you know, why don't you just, do something every day. Take 20 minutes out of your day, do a new video and post it on your channel versus just regurgitating uh, old stale stuff that you did five days ago. Um, and you can tell too in the numbers. I mean, your first video gets maybe a thousand views and then everything after that gets crap. And the reason is, is nobody goes back the next day to review the other uh, videos that you posted. Just put that crap out there, especially if your goal is to uh, drive profit bit profitability through memberships. It doesn't matter when you post it. If it's there, it allows the members to go back and review the information. But of course, that's not true. When it comes to DSP Gaming, tomorrow we're back to full-time business. I know today there was no new videos here besides this one and of course the podcast. Tomorrow, we're back full-fledged gaming. We got Hogwarts Legacy on the first stream and Oblivion on the late stream, okay? I'm excited. Full day of content, chill content, fun content tomorrow. Uh, Monday will be more of Like a Dragon Ishin paired with multiplayer of Modern Warfare 2. And then Wednesday will be more Hogwarts Legacy and more uh, late night streaming of Oblivion. All right, guys? Thank you all for understanding. No content here today, but tomorrow we are back to normal. I hope to see you here bright and early for the level one podcast as usual thank you all have a good night i'm off to rest my voice and upload a lot see you all later peace out okay so essentially we can sum up the whole pro jared event react event by uh this sentence i'm terrible but pro jared is worse than me and that's what he does with all of these events he essentially uh, that's why he cherry picks certain events and certain locales and certain people that had trauma, a dr drama, so that he can try and point and say, "Hey, look, I'm bad, but this person did something worse than me." And in one, in a few of my videos, you actually hear him actually say that specifically, and he talks about his mis accident and all that stuff and how it's nowhere near as bad what what Pro Jared did. And he does the same thing with wings. He did the same thing with he he, he always does any any time he does. A react event on a locale or you know someone with trauma that's what he does so to sum it up in phil's eye i did nothing wrong 
and everyone else did everything wrong. So it's everyone else's fault. So that's essentially what the React event uh, for today was. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be publishing another one real quick um, where I was I, I took a look at um, uh, the numbers that Phil made today with his React content. And of course, I've been saying that these special events, which are no longer special events, they've been dwindling in support every time he does one. So I want to take a look at what he uh, pulled in today and then compare it to what he did on his past marathon special events. And I'm pretty sure, spoiler alert, uh, it's, it's dropped significantly. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.